Hi guys, we Bob here, and in this video we're going to be looking at filters and a couple of tips that I've got for you. So let's get straight into this. This is me working on a competition that Escape Motions have out just now. So it's till the end of October 2023, and it's based on this drawing here, where there's a there's like a selection of drawings that you can choose from to make your own spin on it. And I chose this one. So this is what we're looking at. And I just wanted to talk about filters, so I've got to this point and I'm feeling that um, my drawing's a bit light. So we can come into filters here, and if I zoom in just here, so filter levels, hit levels. And then I can just do some changes, I can bring the darkness, I can take away some of the lightness using these sliders. And you can see the kind of immediate effect that you get, I'll just move that over there. Let's apply that and the next thing I want to show you is making a filter warm or cold. So if we go to curves, this is a really cool um, curve feature that you can get. And if I come down to blue, now if I want a warm scene, you kind of want to remove the blue. So you can see if I bring the blue down, I start really bringing a kind of warmth. You can go really far, but that's a bit too far. But let's say I want to make it a nice kind of, um, like this is Grand Theft Auto, it's based on Grand Theft Auto kind of style. And I'm thinking, in Grand Theft Auto you're usually in a sunny place and it's nice and warm. So you can bring it down, apply, and there we go. I mean, like immediately I've made some really great changes to my drawing. Now let's say you, I'm just going to bring up the tools. Let's say I want to just, my dog's a wee bit dark for me. And I maybe want to just change it. So we can select it on its own and do the same thing. So let's say we right, let's try some of these levels just to see what we get. I mean we can make it really bright and let's um cancel that one and we'll go to brightness and contrast. You can see immediately that if you've got the contrast right up, you're gonna get some really kind of it's quite a cool effect. If you're going for a really dark, bold values. So let's just bring it down a wee bit. Bring the brightness up a wee bit. See if we can get that to level out a wee bit. You can apply that. Another one you may want to look at is this white to alpha, or you can see the kind of effect that that's got the black to alpha. But if you do white to alpha, again, you can really bring out the sunshine. You can see this light hitting this girl's face really quite nice and I really quite like that. But let me go back and let's say like I says I just want to do that to this part of my drawing. Do that and we will do 8 to alpha and it gives us that really nice effect just to that part of the drawing. So we'll deselect everything and I mean I'm happy you can really make some differences. So tip one's get in and use the filters get in try them out see what they do you can get some really great effects especially in curves because you can keep adding um, dots so let's say you can just like if you've ever played an old game you can really get a kind of old game look like you used to have loading screens and they would look a wee bit like this on the old spectrum and commodore 64 you can kind of get that effect if that's what you're trying to kind of achieve Obviously we are not, so we'll cancel that, we'll go back to where we were. Now the next tip I wanted to give you is around text. Now, Rebel doesn't have a text input feature, so how do we get text? And what you can do is you can come into a website called fontmeme.com. Now you've got to be a wee bit careful with these kind of websites because they've got a lot of like downloady things. Just be careful you don't download anything that you don't want to. And we're not going to download anything here. We're literally going to copy an image and paste an image. So for example, if I wanted to try a different type of font, um, let's see, sci-fi fonts. Yeah, again, it's just asking you for all this nonsense. But you can see, um, let's see, let's see this for all mankind font. And then if we come down here and I put in I guy right guys and then you can select the font size you can then generate that then go hi guys now what you do is you right click on this and you just say copy image 
go back to your rebel click control v and there you go i've got hi guys now it's not editable but you can go back and make as many of those as you want and then just copy paste across and it comes in as a new layer you've got to hit enter and you could do some craziness to that you could maybe do a filter and invert it let's try and invert it and then it goes white with a kind of glow to it so that's how you can add text um, I would like Rebel to put a new text editor into the next version. I did hear that Rebel 7 might be coming out. Now, I'm not too sure. I just read it in one of the newsletters. And to be fair, it's quite a lot of money to outlay every year. But I understand the business model. You've got to keep your business going. And I'll see what happens when that comes up. Now, the next tip I had was I've been trying to do a lot more working without the tool tips on. And... You can get this um, download called, let me just find it, free, free virtual keyboard and I got it from Microsoft. And what it does is it kind of sits down in the corner. So if you hit the tab key on Rebel, you can remove the menus. And I downloaded this free virtual keyboard. And what it means is that you can then hit tab and then you can change the menus using these F keys. Now there is a, a Microsoft inbuilt keyboard but it doesn't have the F keys and it means that you're stuck so you can bring this up and you can use the F keys and it'll bring up the various menus and if you want you could have like a shortcut menu on a different screen so, sorry I do have one more tip for you and the last tip again and I have talked about this under the brush brushes that you may not have found so check out these if you're trying to make like a glow get the dodge tool under markers and then you can make those lights glow a wee bit more. It's really help helpful. I hope these tips have been useful to you. Thank you very much for watching. And Rebob is out.